Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called The Juice of God's Future and it looks so goddamn bizarre. This is a game that I just found randomly while roaming around Itch.io. Apparently this game has a set in some sort of company that claims that it's not evil in a dystopian sounding and looking future where the world is suffering from overpopulation. That's all all I really know about the game, I have no idea what this is really about. There is this thing on the menu here that says, what is this place? So I'm guessing that maybe this gives like a quick about the game. So let's click that and find out more. But uh, I think this game involves some sort of choice. The juice of God's future is what we call it. Okay. That's probably all those cans going by that were labeled juice. The more the merrier doesn't apply when there are this many people. Ooh, very dystopian. This factory is taking a weight off the planet's shoulders. Oh God, are we killing people? <laughs> uh, we juice people who don't contribute to society to put it simply. Wait, what? Juice is in like we give them some juice to drink so that they contribute more to society or do we like actually smush them and turn them into juice like you would with an orange or something. Good God. Or rather you do. Oh God, that's my job? Great. So it's going to be a moral dilemma style game. Drink up. Okay. Oh boy. So yeah, that, that definitely explained quite a bit as far as what's going on here. I guess we can enter the world and see exactly what goes on here in this game. It's really weird. Oh, okay. It's just going to repeat what I already read. Okay. So we're just going through this again. Oh boy. So yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that we're probably going to have the choice to either kill people or assume that they are contributing to society and maybe let them go or something like that. I don't know. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. Oh, we have two buttons, juice or free. So exactly like I said, then we have all these posters going by in the background that say drink up. There's this big conveyor belt that I'm assuming carries the juice off to society so the rest of humankind that is contributing to society can can drink their juice and remain productive. So this guy says, I have a PhD and I'm introverted. Also, these people look like, I don't know, they look like they're made of cigarettes or candles. And we got one eyeball, like a minion. And then they're wearing like a, a suit and tie. It's like a job interview, but not so that you don't die though. PhD and I'm introverted. All right, introversion's not a bad thing. You know, just because you keep to yourself, it means that he's probably focusing more on his work that he has a PhD in. He or she. All right, so let's free them. Yeah, you get freed. Goodbye. All right, see you later. Okay, there wasn't any like happy noise about that. I hope I didn't mess up already. I'm working at getting a mansion. So you just want wealth? You want possessions? That's not really contributing to society. That's contributing to your own wants. But at the same time, we like a person with drive. I also feel bad about possibly murdering these people. So... Like, I feel like that's why they're on the cans in the background here that say juice. We just mush up people, we squeeze out their innards and all of the fun liquids inside of them, and they become the juice for other people to enjoy. I'm going to free you. Go off. Live your dreams. Make the society some money. Maybe if they get rich enough, they'll put the money back into society and the economy will, will flourish. I don't know. I'm not unique. <laughs> God, okay. I mean, you don't have to be unique, though. I mean, you don't have to be unique to make it by in the world. If you're happy with what you're doing, that's really all that matters, even if it's not something particularly creative or something. So I guess free you as well. I, I haven't seen anything that's like, I kick dogs or something. That guy's gonna go straight to hell. He's gonna get juiced immediately whenever we find them. I have a kid and I'm unique. Oh, you're like literally opposite of the last person. Um, but that's also like good stuff. You, you're contributing, uh, granted you're contributing to the overpopulation, but you're unique. So maybe your kid will be equally creative. We'll find like a solution uh, for the overpopulation. I don't know. I'm just going to free everyone. Let's see what happens. If we just free everyone and I don't murder anyone for like delicious juice snacks. Uh, I'm not depressed. <laughs> that's that's good. We want happy people. Yeah, depression isn't a great thing. Uh, you know, hopefully I, I'd, I'd hope at this point in the future we would have come up with some sort of cure or, or like major treatment for depression. But apparently just based off the grayscale alone here in this game, I'm guessing that's not the case. Oh, God. OK, wait, what happened? Population report one of three, creativity very high, intelligence very high, happiness very high. Hey, 
Those are good things. I I made some good calls there. I'm assuming now it's the moral dilemmas are going to get a little bit heavier moving forward. There's going to be people that are like, I like to kill people, but also I contribute highly to society. I don't. I love these types of games that make you like really think about the actions that you're performing. And they. And I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of like outcome after Population Report three of three. Uh, these are the averages for everyone in the world. The private society of a good person and the stats are affected negatively and vice versa. Okay, so all the people that I freed, I'm assuming freed back into the world, let them go out of the evil factory. They're now back out into the world, contributing to the world's happiness, creativity, and intelligence. So we've made some good calls there. And uh, yeah, that's that's good. Okay, good. Yeah, let's hit that button to move back. And we're, we're back at our job, our very tedious, very weird job. I feel like working this job, I'd be haunted by many, many nightmares. And my happiness would definitely go down and drag the national average down. Oh, man, this is I like I said, I love these games where it gets like a little bit more thinky. It gets a little heavier. I have a teaching job and I'm religious. I don't know if those two things actually pertain to each other at all. Like religion isn't necessarily bad. Like sometimes it can lead to some very stiff thinking and some rigid thinking, but like not necessarily like the worst thing in the world. It's not the most unique or creative thing to follow a religion because it's like, you know, you follow a doctrine that's pre-established, but you know, you do you, boo. You're, you're teaching the, the future of the world. That's not the worst thing for you. You haven't done anything horrible. It wasn't like I stabbed someone very hard. I have a teaching job and I'm depressed. <laughs> oh God. Again, I mean, depression, not great. I feel like if they're depressed, they're probably going to drive the happiness level down if I free them. Why? Okay, I'm just curious. This is, this is a bad guinea pig here. I'm sorry, Mr. Cigarette Person, freaking grayscale minion from <laughs> like, I, I'm so sorry that you're going to be the experiment here, but I need to see what happens if I juice you. I need to see it. Sorry, goodbye. But no, no painful screams of agony, nothing. I'm not religious. Okay, so you're a free thinker though. That's okay, that's good. So that was weird. So I mean, did that like increase the number of juice cans that I see in the background or something like that? I don't know. Nothing different happened when I juiced that person. I guess we'll see at the end of uh, everything. Maybe there's gonna be some sort of like outro screen that shows me what world I've built by freeing and juicing people. You're not religious, you're a free thinker. Go ahead, go do your own thing, be creative. All right, next person. I'm not bitter. Hey, that means that you're pretty happy, probably. You're probably not upset by, like, little petty things. We like that. Freedom. Good. Oh, no, we li we lowered our intelligence. Was that from the religion? <laughs> oh, no. Is this a very anti-religious uh, religious world? I have no idea. All right, so population report two of three. Everything's still very high, except intelligence dipped a little bit. Oh, man, I don't know what did that. I don't know. I don't know what parameters are affected by what. I'm trying to overthink things, I feel like. I feel like it should be more simple than what I'm doing. But again, that's why I love these types of games. They get into your head. They make you think. They force you to think a little bit. I'm not hard-minded. Oh, okay, that's good. So you're open-minded to a lot of things. Go do your thing, dude. That's excellent. I'm all about that. I have ideas and I'm smart. All right, now you just sound like you're fucking bragging, dude. But <laughs> ideas and smartness, that should raise our intelligence factor back up so you're freed back into the world. Again, I'm not facing any criminals or anything like that so far. I'm not emotionally detached. Also good. It means you make social connections and you're happy with like your social connections and those that you include within your life and you share yourself with. That's good. That's very good. Okay. Wow. That was a quick one. Popular. All right. Raised back to very high for everything. Guys, we're doing great. This world that we are creating, we've only killed one person. <laughs> That's not that bad. Hopefully I don't get juiced in the end because I'm like expendable or because they're like, you accidentally killed someone that didn't need to be killed. Now you get killed i hope that's not the case wait was that not the end that was three of three i thought is would that not logically be the end i guess it's uh after this round of people i have a farm and i'm an atheist okay having a farm isn't necessarily bad and being an atheist isn't necessarily bad either so like uh what the <laughs> neither of these things have anything to do with each other tell me about your likes your wants your dreams your hopes tell me something that gives me a little bit oh god i don't know um a farm and I'm an atheist. That's that's really not the word. I mean, it means you're not open to other ideas 
that have to deal with spirituality, which is maybe going to cause some points of contention down the line. But the farm thing is good. People like food. I guess I, I'm going to say free. I'm going to free you because I think the religion thing before is what dropped our intelligence. I don't know. Hopefully they're not like the stereotypical hum to dum dum farmer where that's going to drop our intelligence, where they like brag about not reading books or something. I don't know. I'm not in shape. All right, you get juice then because you're plenty of food for the rest of us. Delicious. Thank you. You're taking up too much of the rest of the world's food. <laughs> I don't know that. Maybe they have a bum knee and I actually just sentenced someone to death who's completely innocent. Good God. This is a hard job, guys. You don't want to take this job. If they're hiring at Not Evil Corporation or whatever the name of this place is, I just, uh, I don't know. You know, the God's future, it, it can do without, like, people having to ethically sacrifice themselves to, like, choose who lives and dies. I feel so, I know it's a game, but I just feel so weird making these judgments. Um, I'm working at getting a good job. Okay, that's that's some positive thinking. You're moving towards a better future for you, better future for society. You're trying to make sure that we have some hard workers. Yeah, free ya. Okay, okay, that was the end of it, finally. All right, nearly everyone lived in a creative, magical land, for better or for worse. Hey, that sounds good. Creativity was so prominent, perhaps it became an obstacle. Wait, what? How would creativity be an obstacle? Would it be like, oh... Came up with this creative way to drink drinks. Instead of a straw, you actually have to push this marble. It flies down the staircase. It knocks over some dominoes, and then it shoots a catapult of drink into your mouth. Maybe that's the creativity being an obstacle or overthinking things as a society now. I don't know. Magical world sounds amazing, though. That sounds like I, I established a very good world. The world was a meadow of highly intelligent people. Yes, we are very intellectual. The people achieved many great things with their intelligence including colonizing multiple planets. Also goddamn good. That is a great outcome. That is very good. That means that we can spread ourselves throughout the galaxy and discover more and hopefully use our intelligence to cure disease. And the overpopulation thing is clearly not an issue anymore if we're going to other planets so that we can spread our population thinner and uh, resources will ho hopefully be more abundant. Man, I'm, I'm great. I'm the best god there is. Holy crap. No one had the slightest touch of depression about them. Happiness was all they ever needed and all they ever had anything else was just an added benefit i cured depression guys i'm amazing that concludes your involvement i hope you're content with what you've done here that's dope okay I, I, that's got to be a good ending that has to be a good ending i i feel like i did great i have a feeling that if i had made the a literally exact opposite choices that i did if i juiced all those people that i freed that we probably would have had a really depressing bad ending. So I feel pretty good about my judgment. As, as weird as I felt earlier in the video, now I'm feeling like, you know what? Me, as a judge of character, pretty decent. I'm not feeling too bad about that. I am the god that this world deserves, clearly. But anyway, guys, this was a really goofy, weird game. I love these games that make you think. They're so fun to me, and hopefully they're fun to watch as well. If you guys want to try this out yourselves, I'll leave a link down below in the description like I normally do so that you can download it for free from over on Itch.io. It's one of those games that definitely has multiple endings from just the way that I, I saw the gameplay play out. But hopefully you enjoyed watching my gameplay if you did please be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and as always it was great seeing you bye bye Sir, please, please.